Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Manifesto. Today, let's talk about science, where science ends and spirituality begins. Collectively, many cultures around the globe have this concept that science and spirituality are two different independent, often conflicting paradigms and functions in our lives. You see it everywhere. The television, advertising, talk shows, documentaries, all skewed by trying to draw a line, like, like a state line or a border between two warring countries where science ends and spirituality begins. And we, the people, are raised to believe that they are polar opposites and often feel that science and spirituality can never meet when they meet all of the time and they support each other all of the time. Spirituality explains what scientists have no ways of measuring or explaining. When science cannot explain a phenomenon, it's given a very scientific term. It's labeled as an anomaly. When spirituality cannot explain a phenomenon, it's given a very spiritual term. It's labeled a miracle or an expression of God. But here it is, as the great poet E.E. E. Cummings would say, here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than the soul can hope or the mind can hide. We are humans and we are limited by our knowledge, our experiences, our interpretations, our emotions, our importance in the survival of the universe. The universe has no limitation. The universe is us and so knows all about us. So every time I hear this question, where does science end and spirituality begin? I just love humans even more <laughs> because it's so human of us to try and fit it all into one paradigm. It gives us a sense of control, of importance. But here's the best part. Science and spirituality both seek the same thing, more knowledge of the unlimited mysteries of the universe. The universe is too majestic, too grand to be confined to the smallness of human discoveries, too undefinable to fit into the human labels like anomaly or miracle. When you think about the universe, just logically think about its size, its complexities, its vast mysteries that are too universal size to be comprehended by the human mind. Scientists today are coming to the same conclusion. When they find the universe is endless and vast, they realize that nothing can exist in a vacuum cut off from all the collective boundless energy of the universe. Astrophysicists are now talking about possibilities they would never have discussed even a decade ago. They now talk of parallel universes. They have discovered that each time a star system dies and disappears into a black hole, another is born in a big bang creation somewhere else in this vast universe. Astrology is considered a branch of science because it is a discipline which uses set rules to explain natural phenomenon. People seek its guidance, then they appeal to their spirituality. They work together in our quest to understand our place in the universe. Yoga, too, is considered a science, but the deep benefits come when we approach yoga in a spiritual manner, using our bodies as the temple to raise our connection to spirit. The benefits of meditation are explained by science. It activates each gland. Activating each gland improves blood, circulation, the mental and the physical stress cause increased levels of stress hormone cortisol, which produces many of the harmful effects of stress, stress, such as release of inflammatory chemicals that can disrupt our sleep, promote depression and anxiety, increase blood pressure, and contribute to fatigue and cloudy thinking. In an eight-week study, a meditation style called mindfulness meditation was proven to reduce the inflammation response caused by stress. That's some of the science behind meditation. The spirituality of meditation takes a far more inclusive approach. It is, it is seen as a way to connect with your soul, with your higher self, with a collective consciousness, with a unified field, with your intentions, with your ability to heal yourself, increasing your abilities to manifest more of what you want and less of what you don't want. If you want to learn more about manifesting more of what you want and less of what you don't, click the link I provided for you. It's a wonderful resource for manifesting all that you seek to finally climb over the obstacles of being reactive to all that comes your way. 
Ugh, that's just a lifetime of stress. To get over that way of being and through manifestation experience, what the great philosopher and transcendentalist Rumi described as, all that I seek is now seeking me. So where science ends, spirituality begins, is where it benefits us most on an individual basis. You see, at Soul Manifesto, we believe that being humanized and not universalized, understanding a small portion of the phenomena we experience every day is perfectly designed to provide each individual with a desire to seek more knowledge through science or through spirit or through both. This desire is seek more understanding is simply born from our desire to belong, belong to the whole universe, which, okay, let's distill that down a bit more. Our desire to seek where science ends and spirituality begins is rooted in love, love of our human experience. We all want to know more about the things we love, right? You are here with us at Soul Manifesto right now because of your love of being you, even the hard parts of being you. And we all have those, be they the life changing like divorces, death in the family, diseases, or more subtle like feeling out of control of our emotion, delays in our plans, disappointments in our friends, family, self. Still, through all of these challenges of being human, we seek more, and that is love. I give these talks every Tuesday and Thursday, so you can ask any questions you want answered in the comments, and I will create a talk link around it, especially for you. Until then, I hope our talk has uplifted you today and given you more freedom to decide where science ends and spirituality begins for you. For me, I will say as I always do, love is spirit and spirit is love. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on a single thing. Subscribe below. And here's something else I think you'll enjoy. Namaste.